one of the decisions that managers have to make is whether to make something or to buy something. And this has become very relevant lately because, you know, we can hire employees or we can outsource the jobs. And now what's happening in many businesses is they're bringing them back in-house because they find they have idle capacity and it's just as easy to do it inside the house than outsource it. Why? Because you have more control. Um, and as far as quality, as far as decision making, and those types of things. So here we have a situation where we're going to decide whether we're going to hire a new employee, a designer, or whether we're going to outsource it to a graphic designer on a project by project basis. And this is uh, exercise four. So make or buy exercise four. Now here are the facts. Um, and let's see, who should we look at? What's your preference? Let's say uh, we should um, outsource it. How would that be? Let's outsource. So that'll be our preference. So when we do our differential column, we're going to look at our preference of outsource minus hire. How would that be? All right. Now in this particular case, it says that if we hire a new employee, it's going to cost us $32 an hour for this employee and they're going to work 600 hours. So if I keep it in-house and I hire direct labor, it's 32 hours times 600, $32 times 600 hours, which is going to cost me $19,200 to hire that employee. In addition to hiring that employee, it also says that we have some service or variable overhead costs of $2 per design hour. So $2 times 600 hours is $1,200. So if I hire an employee, the total cost that it's going to cost me is $20,400. But I can also go to the outside and hire an individual to do this job. And again, they're going to work 600 hours, and how much are they going to charge us? Well, if I go to the outsider, she wants to be paid $36 an hour for these 600 hours. So 36 times 600 says, if we go to the outside, it will cost me $21,600 instead. So total cost going to the outside, $21,600 versus keeping it in-house, 20400 So notice that if I prefer to go to the outside, I have more money going out for that alternative. So $1,200 differential cost. But there's an extra wrinkle in this problem. It says if we outsource there's an opportunity cost of outsourcing. And that opportunity cost says that if we don't hire an employee, we're going to be able to generate through other um, jobs an additional $4,000. So listen to this sentence. It says um, if we um, hire outside, we will be able to redirect the use of our computers and our servers to generate a $4,000 in additional revenue from web page maintenance work. So if I outsource, will I have additional benefit? Yeah. So what will that be? Well, that means that I have a $4,000 is the opportunity cost of um, if I go to hire inside versus outside. So $4,000 additional benefit if I outsource versus the incremental cost of outsourcing is $1,200. So am I better off outsourcing? Yes, because in effect I have revenue that's coming in to cover this difference. And so the differential is $2,800 in favor of what? Outsourcing. So when you look at a make or buy or an outsource versus in-house decision, remember incremental costs 
as well as your opportunity cost. 